All night drinking parties. Hell yeah. Dave's working on one right now. Mm. My topic is uh, it just says kids and them all night drinking parties. I think you're having a crisis of some sort. Do they still do it? I think you're having a Dave. He's having this a is going to be a, more. This is more of a get off my lawn. Dave, do we you, need to psychoanalyze no, this? No, I think he's okay. Uh, I mean, it was change or well, no, the change part leaked into some of it a little bit. The crazy thing is, is I didn't do none of that in high school. But I you know. know what I did do? Drugs. No, no. <laughs> Heroin. And none of that either. <laughs> a lot of it. Black and tar. The whole time I was like, man, there's kids out there that drinking. And them kids is probably smoking a reefer. Mm -hmm. Breaking devil, them laws. The old devil's the lettuce. jazz cabbage. Jazz cabbage. And you know what I was doing? I had strobe lights in the headlights of my Ranger and a PA system on the yeah. goddamn thing. And I'm like, you and I'm were, pulling cars over. That's a federal offense, bro. It's not a federal offense. It is a state offense. Uh, well, by God, it was worse than drinking beer in a cornfield. But I tell you what, just Dave by himself on another Friday night in high school. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was, it was a lonely life. So uh, I was thinking I'm because... Glad you come out of it. <laughs> one of the premier... <laughs> you sound like a chicken. It's a rooster. <laughs> oh boy, we're done. Here Reverse. we go. Uh, I like to get real good. <laughs> so, one of the predominant spots that we used to do these all night drinking parties uh, is, is a spot that I uh, that I frequent quite a bit for work. Like we, it's actually a one parking of, lot. One of our dump spots, subway parking lot. No, where we're dumping. It's a spoiled where we dump, and it was a, down in the big old valley and ravine and whatnot. Anyway, you were you probably didn't attend any out there, but uh, you we, weren't cool enough. No, it's just that out at Wagner's. Oh, I've been out there. Yeah, well, it's almost gone because we filled that whole valley in. Yeah, and that's just something that kind of struck me as odd. It's like. If you think about it, obviously I'm really far out of the game. You know what I mean? Cause I'm, For an all-night drinking party? Yeah, because I'm 36 years old. But, like, what, do kids do that anymore? No, I got it, Dave. Listen to this. Sorry to interrupt. I mean, I'm not sorry for do, interrupting. Do kids do that anymore? And if they do, where do they do it now? They don't do it anymore. Here's the thing. He had that heart monitor on, mm -hmm. and it's made him check his mortality. And Ooh, this is what all this shit's about. That's what it is. Uh, I don't think kids do it as much anymore because I think there's other things they do. Like, they vape. Um, exactly right. They get into... I just... Oh, I don't, the Snapchat and the filthy little critters. Yeah. That's, uh, mm, you know, tough sexting. Mm. Uh, you know, back in the day, you had to work hard to see a teddy. Yeah. You're right. You had no, to watch it through the snowy HBO, <laughs> or the, the you had to find night. somebody's dad's magazines hidden under Stash. the bed. Yeah, uh, I can tell That's you, what the problem I is. I can count on I can count on one hand how many times or no how, how many, many places you saw Diddy. No, <laughs> that I felt comfortable. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Make me out to be a total loser here. Well, you are. You drove around in your loud truck. I've seen yourself. a lot of tits back in the day. I have you. I've seen my fair share of tits. Yeah. The old JC any, Penny magazine doesn't count. Don't you dare take anything away from me. I was a titty gazing son of a buck back in the day. You just hey, asked my. You that peephole in the fence? You just asked Grandma. You just asked my. Peep and Tom. Good God. Here goes the mute button. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here goes the mute button. You just asked my best buddy, Matthew Noblet. And, uh, uh, don't we'll, drag Nobby into we'll your tell you about Tom all activities. The boobies we've seen back in the day. <laughs> I, just, I, just I was don't. saying, I can count probably on one hand how many places that I felt comfortable doing have doing the drugs or having a big uh <laughs> doing the drugs how many big drinking drugs how many places that i felt comfortable <laughs> partying when we were in high school yeah oh. you know whether it was in couch guy's basement or out there at that place i was telling you about before in that big valley yeah or we would go you know to a handful of other spots yeah that you know that we just we just did it, you know what I mean. Yeah. And we would we would sleep in our truck, 
or we would, you know, pitch a tent and camp out, you know, whatever like that. But you know, it's you like, don't hear about those things getting I know. Anymore. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I, you know, I think what it is, and probably it's unfortunate. Well, maybe it is good. Maybe it's bad. But I think parents have kind of taken this attitude that they're going to drink whether they're with us or if they're not. And if they drink with us, we can control what's going on. Well, that's wrong. And I, th- I know because your boys county says it all the time on the radio. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. criminal offense to furnish alcohol to minor. But I think that that's what you see more often. So a parent says to their child, "Hey, I know that you're going over to Susie's to spend the night. Yeah, that's bullshit. I know that you're gonna go get drunk and pass out in a field somewhere. Yeah." How about you and Susie Q and the rest of the girls? You guys just come here and pass you out. You stay in, in our the basement. Field. No, you stay in the basement and you party and do your thing, and then it's just it's over. I I just I don't know. I I think things have changed. I think that they made <coughs> you know there was such a push about, and maybe that's when everybody's partying. I, th- I feel like probably half the fun was you weren't supposed to. Yes. Yes. Not that I did it. So we had, so we had. Sounds like you spent your Friday nights with him. We had a rash of parties. (laughs) Wishing I could see it, Danny. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) We've seen a lot of. (laughs) Doing drugs. We had a lot of doing drugs. We had a lot of party. I did not do a lot of drugs, (laughs) by the way. I I mean. Let's put Sprite and wine glass to snort flour and look for titties to the HBO snow. And hope our uncle doesn't come down and catch us. <laughs> Not good. I don't know what we are. People going don't on. like people doesn't. They don't like listening this to us cackle. Yeah, they do. According to the, they're laughing right now. According to the TikTok views, like the ones that we're really cackling on, they don't really hit that well. TikTok. That's right. Oh, <laughs> shots fired. Uh, I think uh, for a fact that kids don't do it anymore because, like you said, they're scared shitless of going to jail. Because when we were kids, like you just went to jail. Like if you got caught, you went to jail. And then you got to miss your football games and this and that. And you got your ass beat by your mom and dad. And then, and then life moved on. You know what I mean? It wasn't no big deal. Have you been now, to jail? No. Neither have I. I've almost been. I, have. I mean, I've been there. Have you been to jail? I've been to jail. Like, as a, in, like, checked in or that was, there to visit? Well, I've checked in, yeah. As an inmate. No, you've been there to visit. Shut up. Couch guy's been a few times. Yeah, that happened. But that's okay. That's why he's on our couch. Yeah. But I'm just saying is that we, we, uh, like, we did it all the time. We ran from the cops. I, yeah, believe it or not, me. Do you ever run from in your vehicle, like weaving in and out of traffic and no. all that? No, good oh, God, that's a good time. Now you've done that, huh? Yeah. Oh wow, what a badass! But no, Rich I've been super busy. I've never done that, uh, but I have. You know what I mean? So I think it, like the luster of it is probably gone. You know, because you know if your parents are going to let you booze and do their they driveway. still have dare? No, I don't know. <laughs> that's the other reason they're not partying. This what? whole time they thought dare was fixing it. Who wants to listen to that stupid ass dog anyway? <laughs> oh my god! Oh boy, Dave. I think for a fact the people that experiment <laughs> with drugs and alcohol. Now this is going to sound very bold, but I think the I, peop- like it. I think the people that experience or experiment with not necessarily the drugs, but more of the the alcohol, like pre college, are probably better off when they get to college. As opposed to the ones who don't do anything during high school. Now, I'm here to tell you. And that- go to college and then just completely cut loose. Because I know a person specifically that never did anything during high school. Nothing. Matter of fact, I know a handful of people like, like this. And boy, oh boy. Buddy, as soon as I figured they out I ha- could they drink. Couldn't ha- they couldn't hack it. Yeah. Well, no, I could hack it was the problem. I just didn't remember any of it. Yeah. It was a bad deal. But once yeah. I found out, like I didn't know I had a talent until I got to college. I'm not telling I'm not saying that we condone underage drinking. Oh hell by no. All means. That's terrible. Like But I do good. condone America. Yeah. I mean, I'll beat the shit out of my kid, you know, once for stepping out of line. But yeah. But you know what? If I gotta beat the shit out of my kid once, I bet he had a good time. <laughs> 
Yeah. Find a reason to get the shit beat up. We were talking about that today. It's like our kids are getting older and this and that. And, you know, like you were talking off air, you know, it's like sometimes our kids are going to be shits. You know what I mean? Like when they get older, they're, we're going to bust them drinking the beer, or, you know, smoking the jazz cabbage or whatever, you know. But it's like <laughs> I'm not going to be able to like, listen here, you little bastard. My parents lied to me for a long time. And I was paranoid. Like, bring a joint home in my pocket or, like, just have something uh, illegal, incriminating, you know, obviously some sort of foreign substance that I'm not... I remember bringing a cigar home when I was 17. Yeah, right? Well, I remember... It's <laughs> well, I, you know, it's like... <laughs> Got a Ziploc gallon bag. <laughs> yeah, weed. yeah. Did some muling for a guy I knew one time, but... Keister to Kilo and That's coke. not true. I've never put any... <laughs> Sort of talking about spreading his cheeks earlier. I've never put any drugs in my butt. But what I'm saying is, it's like I was paranoid. Like I just thought to myself, if my mom and dad know that I have marijuana in my car right now, like I'm going to be murdered. Like I will never see the light of day again. You know what I mean? And then, you know, of course. (laughs) Not knowing, my parents were obviously product of the seventies, so it's like they knew what it what it was and smelled like. And I'm like, oh, you know what I mean? I, I it's just one of those things that now are you now? Here's the real question: because your parents probably knew you were, are you like disappointed that they did not try to correct your behavior? Oh no, they did a lot. Like I got in trouble for doing that shit. Yeah. They didn't just like like that just, time he didn't get caught with his on uh, at school. It was somebody else's. Yeah, <laughs> I think he just yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? That time, yeah, that yeah. time. <laughs> but uh, no, hell no. Did I not tell you the story about going to the liquor store with all the guys at the mine? Yeah, then yeah, everybody but, knows your mom. Yeah, and then my mom she sold me out there, you know, and shit like that. Yeah. Well, it just obviously, I guess the lesson didn't take with you is the problem. No. Yeah. Not a chance, no, because yeah. I was surrounded by a bunch of other idiots that... You know what I yeah. used to tell clients all the time? What? People, places, and things. Yeah. If you hang out with the wrong Herbs. people at the wrong places... Those are nouns, dipshit. <laughs> doing the wrong <laughs> thing. I'm an engineer, Wow. not a wordiologist. <laughs> wordiologist. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, kids these days, they don't go to all night drinking parties, and that's good. That is yeah. good. That is good. <coughs> Man, we went uh, off the rails. They on just that play one. video games and suck on them douche flutes all the time and get themselves in trouble <laughs> with that crap. Yeah, the old vape thing. That's probably the bigger. Stupid. It, it 